Okay guys, tutorial 21. Now it's time to see how we're gonna deal with delete a student. So let me come back here to the edit student and let me double click here on delete student so I know exactly that's where I have to implement. This is gonna be a lot similar with the update student. This first line here, I could probably uh, copy that here and put it here just so I know what student I wanna delete, right? Uh, when I have that now, um, we can actually, we can also copy that as well. This if statement, because if nothing is selected, I want something to show up there. Um, else, what do I want to do? Well, I want to delete, right? I guess. It's good for to make sure make sure the user what I'm gonna put here now actually doesn't really matter if you put it or not. I'm just gonna put something that's gonna make sure that the user uh, knows what it's doing. So I'm just gonna put a message back box asking if they really wanna uh, um, do that. But whatever I'm trying to do here is not working. Let's see the oh it's message box result dot yes so let me check that equals to message box just message box dot show um, now let's put here what you want to do like are you sure are you sure um, now we had a here delete delete student this whenever we open that you're gonna see where that is going to now I have to put here message box button the yes no um, if I can remember what else I need here okay that will be type of warning so message box box dot no that's if I have a warning if I can remember what is the message box oh I want a message box image dot uh, that would just be a warning to whoever is using it so that's what I want to check let me make this more a little bit more readable so let me put that here and close it right here so so if that returns true what I want to do is just of course delete whatever it is so I'm just gonna do here admin okay admin dot um, I don't have delete student here yet. That's okay. We're gonna add there. Delete, delete student, and I'm gonna pass the student, or I'm sorry, the selected, selected guy, selected. I have this here here right now just because I don't have the delete student, but we're gonna do that in a little bit. Now, I wanna do a um, probably a Windows loaded. No. And no. Should be good. Let's go to the admin and do a uh, delete student real quick there. I'll just again copy this. Don't care and then do some modifications so I don't have to type a bunch of stuff again. Uh, and here I'm gonna have a delete instead. Delete student. Okay. And keep here var. That's okay. Now, uh, okay, this one I can keep. I guess I can just keep it all. The only thing that I'm gonna do different here now is just I'm gonna use a I'm gonna have a stu dot students. Where are you? Hold on. I'm supposed to have this showing the students, but it's not. Let me see. Oh, well, let me actually take this out. In this case, for delete, you won't really need first to default. Uh, let me see if that's gonna help somehow. Nope. Let me see here. And of course, it's not gonna work because I'm using the variable. The variable is what I wanna delete. So I wanna actually use the connection. 
con dot, let's see if that's going to, okay, there you go, dot students dot delete, um, let me try this guy here, delete and submit, I don't know, I mean, I know delete all and submit is going to work, I'm not sure if this guy's going to work, he should, from what I'm thinking, but he's complaining that, He's complaining because he is a var. Let me just try to uh, just do some troubleshooting here. Just to make sure. I'm pretty sure that should work. Okay, it does. If the thing is, if I put a student here, I think I will have to put first or default. Here, let me try that. First or default. Yeah, I think that would do it. You could also just put a var here. And not put anything in here, um, but then you'd have to put delete all and submit here. Okay, I think that other way would help. Let's try and see actually. So let me run that. Of course, I have an error, and the error is that I haven't closed this guy here. Let's try and run again. Edit student, so let me delete this guy. Yes, I'm sure. So it was deleted. Let's run in the database and make sure it was deleted too. Uh, select. So that guy was deleted. Now, let's just come back here and do a test. And I'm just not sure now, like, because that time we had a problem with the var. I just want to make sure that it's going to work as well. So we're going to put the var here. If we do that, let me take this out. And instead of putting delete on submit, let me put delete all. Delete. Delete all on submit. Let me see if that's going to work. Just wondering. So let me select this person and delete. <laughs> Yes, and I guess it did. So yeah, there's a couple options here. Let me check it out here. All right, and that person was deleted. Okay, guys. So just a couple things for you to play with. Decide how you want to do it. All right, guys. That one wasn't too hard. Uh, next time we're gonna do what we supposed to do next time. Let's take a look again. Since we dealing with these guys here. Add class. So we're going to be adding class and see if we can drop a class too. But to do that, make sure you have the class. you, you got to have classes in here. Like in the view, I only have one class. I'm going to make sure I add a couple more classes so we can actually just add those classes. But yeah, you got to make sure you have this working. Otherwise, it won't work for you. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks. See you later.